What's up guys? We're here at their annual Richmond Night Market. It's their first night tonight, their opening night. This isn't our first time to go to this Richmond Night Market. Last year, we were here as a tourist. Yeah, we were with my family. We were just tourists. We still live in Winnipeg. Yeah. And this is one of the attractions that we came here to Vancouver for. Yeah, and so we are happy that it's that time again <laughs> to eat a lot. Another excuse to eat a lot. <laughs> so last year we saw that the lines were really long. Uh, we came in a bit late and we were at the very far end of the line. So this year we were really cautious about it. As you can see, we did our due diligence and really came early. <laughs> An hour early. <laughs> An hour early. So there's no one here. No lines yet. Maybe a little way too early. So. <laughs> but that's good. We get first dibs on the, the food. Yeah. The early bird catches the early worm. The early worm. <laughs> National Food Fair celebrates Canada's diversity with 120 vendors and 600 food choices from around the world. We're going straight to the food. <laughs> We've been waiting in line for like half an hour. For you guys that don't know, if you don't want to pay, you, you can definitely stand in line and the tickets are like, how much? 4.75. 4.75. But if you do want a Zoom Pass, a Zoom Pass is you can go straight to the entrance without waiting in line. That's $28. If you want to skip the line. Where do we begin? <laughs> One of the most must try here in Richmond is the big fried squid. The one that we got is the uh, sweet chili. It was worth the wait. So that's mayonnaise and sweet chili sauce along with their signature breaded recipe. With garlic powder and pepper. This is worth ten dollars, and you can see it's pretty packed already for something that's small. This is only small. Do you have the option to get cheese, barbecue, spicy, or garlic flavor? The one we got is barbecue. So good. For everyone who likes the skin of the chicken, this is for you. <laughs> At this point, I don't even care if it's unhealthy. <laughs> Yeah. 
One of the most popular drinks here in Richmond Night Market is the milk tea in a bottle. So they give you this bib that you get to wear. <laughs> you get to drink in a bottle. <laughs> That's why you have a bib. Mommy! <laughs> Mommy! Use me! Is it good or what? <laughs> Does it taste like Filipino lechon? No? Why? Why not? It's different. There's a twisted lechon. So it's not the lechon that I used to do. Like the plain lechon. This one has a variety of flavors. Like what? Like onions and tomatoes and cilantro. Try it. It doesn't taste like the classic Filipino lechon. It has like the a few flavors added to it. Maybe just to give it like a modern mix. It has like onions, like I think that's pineapple or but definitely you can taste the cilantro in it. There's cucumber, there's tomatoes, there's onions. We're getting a little full, so we're about to head to the the game section and just play some games. So we're not eating, let's go and have some fun! But we'll be back for dessert. Be here all summer. <laughs> Just be fat. 
So the prawns are a little sweet. It's, uh, it's all like honey garlic. Honey garlic. Ship bail. Pass by. Mochi for free? It's actually the same price. <laughs> it's so cold. <laughs> but it's so good. The mango is so flavorful. I think they use real mangoes, so that's good. You mean fresh mangoes? Fresh mangoes, yeah. The mochi is adding a little bit of chewiness to the entire dessert. So it's good. It's like adds texture to the shaped ice. Alright guys, we're gonna end it here. Sure am stuff tonight. Me too. We want a couple of stuffies as well. So they're coming home with us. We are definitely coming back. There's a lot more food to try. Yeah, and it's not only food, there's also carnival games and a lot more stuff to do here. Aside from that, make sure to bring cash because... Uh, they only take cash. Yeah, they only take cash here. There are some ATM booths, but you know, save the hassle. Make sure you bring your own cash. It's only the first day, but make sure to visit the Richmond Night Market because it's only open until October. We're expecting it to be full cash, so we came in but surprisingly, there's only a few people. Yeah, maybe it wasn't advertised as well. So definitely take advantage. If you like this video, make sure to comment down below and like and subscribe. See you on our next video. Bye.